Hi, welcome to part two of our Novo Connect video. I'm going to show you how to connect and what you can do using the Novo Connect. So we have it hooked up over there and we're at this, basically the setup screen which shows everyone how to connect to it. And what happens is the first device to connect, whether it's a laptop, an iPad, an Android device, doesn't matter. Whatever the first one to connect is becomes the host. So I'm going to make the laptop the host. And all we have to do is put in the IP address. Uh, we have to make sure we're first connected to the network. Uh, right now we're on the Novo Connects Wi-Fi, but you can also set it up to be on your house Wi-Fi. So once you have the Wi-Fi on, you put in the IP address and hit connect. And there you go. Now if you look up here, our host laptop is being displayed through the projector. And you can pretty much leave it at that if you wanted to. It's a live image from your projector. So you can do whatever you need to do uh, right there. But to take full advantage, you're going to connect your mobile devices. And it's just as easy. We're going to go in the app. We're going to put in the IP address and connect. I'm just going to type them in here. Just take a second. So now I've had one phone connected, and you'll see as the devices connect, you're going to be able to see them on the host computer or the host device, uh, whichever one it is. So you'll see now my phone is now on there, and then I'm just going to connect another phone in the same fashion. Once you get the IP address, and we'll call it a day. So the phone's connected. You see it just popped up right there. So again, I showed you now the host computer can display whatever you want to display. But now you have the ability to display the screens from the mobile devices connected to it. And it's as easy as mousing over them and hitting this little triangle. I'm going to switch over to the my cell phone. Uh, or the host computer shows the same screen as it did before, so the host regains control. Uh, you can also display quadrants. So I'm going to put one phone on the bottom right. I'll put one phone on the top right. And then I'm going to put the host laptop on the top left. And unfortunately, it doesn't scale the image, so you may have different sizes. Uh, as you might be able to tell there, the laptop's the smallest and the cell phones are bigger. Uh, and the way this works is you can have up to four devices being displayed simultaneously but you can have up to 64 devices connected to the Wi-Fi. Uh, or if you're using your in-house Wi-Fi, however many that can handle. So, just want to show you what we can do here. So I'm going to select, you know, we're in, we're in our meeting or we're in our lesson, and uh, somebody wants to talk about something. So, we have the ability to pull up what's called a note. And we can select our note. And now we're able to actually have a blank white screen and we can draw on it. So I have a blue pen selected so I can just draw a new line across the screen. It'll be about a two second delay but just see it pop up there. Uh, so I can then erase just like so. And again it'll be a little bit of a delay but you can see it then popping up on the screen. It happens in real time. There just is that little bit of a delay. But there's no button to push. You know, you draw a line, like I'm just going to draw a line right now across the screen. As soon as you do that, it knows to send the image up to the projector. So you can talk about something, you can draw something while you're talking about it. It's just going to show up up there. And you can then save that in the app and do whatever you want to do with it later. You can always pull them up later. Like so, it see it's going to come right back up. So now I want to switch to a, a different device. Let's switch to, to my own phone here. Not all that exciting, but what I want to show you now is you have the ability to pull up images and uh, device, uh, sorry, documents from your phone or your tablet, whatever you happen to be using. So we're just going to switch over. And as you can see here, I have access to my download folder, my camera folder, and a Novo Present folder, which I don't have anything in right now. But we switch over to documents, so I can access all the documents that are on my phone. 
And as you see, as I tap on folders, they are changing in real time. I can also access the SD card, Dropbox, and Google Drive. Can't really see it on the side there, and I apologize for how bad the image is. It's just because I have a really small phone. So, as I showed you, everything's moving in real time as I scroll through all my folders here. So let's say I don't want to have everyone see the pictures and the documents I'm scrolling through. There's a pause button. I can hit the pause button. As you can see, it's uh, paused the image up on the top or up in the front so I can continue to scroll through my documents until I can find whatever I want to display and show to everybody. So let me just do that. Clicked on the wrong folder earlier. So in your meeting or in your lesson, you can keep talking as you pull up whatever you want to show to everyone. And once you have it up there, you just hit play and it's going to resume the live image from your phone. So there you can see actually the water report that I got. And when you're showing this, you know, this is a, a live document, so I can scroll up and down as needed. I can even annotate over it. So I'm talking about all these numbers here in parts per million. These are the important ones. It's going to be able to then circle that. You can basically stress your point, essentially. So I can then pause it again, back out of it, so no one can see, you know, what's, what else is inside my phone if I don't want them to. Uh, but if you don't care, you hit play, and it's, again, back to the live image. Uh, and you can do that with pictures as well. Uh, if we were connected to the Internet right now, you can hit your web browser, and you can pull up a web page. And uh, that's about it. So, as you can see, you're able to then display multiple devices up on your large screen. Uh, you can take documents and images websites, even draw right on your document, uh, I'm sorry, your device, your tablet, and have it displayed up in the main screen. So the Noble Connect is really a sharing and a collaborative device. So everyone can have their own devices and display them up in the front. Minimal effort, again, you're just connecting to Wi-Fi, and that's pretty much it. The host can be a computer, it can be a tablet, uh, computers can connect to it, and be uh, you know, just part of the presentation. So you can really use whatever you want to. So if you have people coming in in a bring your own device type of situation, you can have iPads, Android phones, Android tablets, laptops, all connecting at the same time, sharing images at the same time. So it's a really neat device. Uh, there's actually a discount on it if you buy it with a Vivitech projector. So maybe worth it if you're looking for a new projector as well. Give us a call if you have any questions. 866-942-6273.